What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Boxing X-Ray. And today I'm just doing a review on the three different um, types of boxing gloves that is out there and what you should look out for when you're actually purchasing these gloves and what makes these gloves different. So first I have three different types of gloves. They all perform differently and they have their strong suits in different areas. And with that being said, this one is my Adiprod gloves. I paid forty dollars for them. I actually got them for uh, for a steal. They're actually fourteen ounces. I had these gloves for four years. However, the other pier, the other the other hand of this glove, the left hand of the glove is actually it's actually no good. I beat the stuffing out of it and. Part of that was my problem. I didn't take good care of the gloves and I forgot to stitch it, stitch the glove up when there was a hole in it. So I wait till the stitching fall out and then I was trying to revive the glove, but it didn't work. So, however, I keep these gloves because these were their true bag gloves. And that's one of the reasons why I kept them so long, just to remind people the difference between a bag gloves when I'm training somebody, the difference between a bag gloves and heavy bag, I try to instruct them in that way. Now, this one is a one punch glove. The, the produce, the manufacturer is actually in Philadelphia. It's a great glove, it's a great bag gloves. Um, I paid $50 for them. I actually got them for a steal as well. And I really like these gloves. Um, really good gloves, really comfortable, really reliable gloves. I did maybe around Maybe around three days of work in these gloves, you know, and it was it was really good. So around like 72 hours of working these gloves, and I really enjoyed them. And this right here, everybody knows, it's my Infinity gloves. If you've been, you know, following my channel, and this is a sparring and mixed gloves. It can be used on the bag, but it's generally not a strong suit when it comes to working the heavy bag. However. It can do all the three things for boxing. It can hit the mitts, it can work the pads, and it can work the heavy bag as well. So it's a great gloves, but it has a strong suit when it comes to sparring and uh, hitting the mitts. And I know people might be a little bit confused, but trust me on that one. Sparring mitts, and you know, if you're trying to work the bag as well, this gloves can do all the three things for it. Great gloves, phenomenal gloves. Love these gloves. I actually ordered a second pair of them. They're coming soon. Um, Pay $140 for this. If you're not buying it, if you're not trying to customize a glove, it's $80 for them. So, great boxing glove and one of the best when it comes to affordability out there on the market right now and quality and reliability. One of the best gloves out there, man, at that price range. So, let's kick it off. So, this is how we're going to find out the difference between uh, a bag gloves and a sparring gloves. So, Generally, all you need most of the time is a hard surface, and I have a marble countertop right here. I need a, you need a hard surface, and what you're just gonna do is just knock the gloves around and feel the padding. So here, you can already see it's a very soft and squishy padding, and that's with the sparring gloves. I'm gonna do the knock test, and just so you guys can hear it. It's very cushiony, and with the true bad gloves, It's not, it's not giving way, guys. It's not giving me no room to push it down. It sounds like somebody's taking a hammer and you know hitting the, the marble countertop. So, really good gloves, man. Really nice glove when you work in the bag, and it's also a top-heavy glove. Most um, bag gloves are actually top-heavy, and the reason for this is the the manufacturer is trying to make sure that most of the weight is at the front of the glove and they leave out like um, a lot of um, padding on the wrist. So the risk of this is usually thin and flimsy when it comes to your bag gloves. However, you do have some great bag gloves out there where some guys has, you know, provide padding, but mostly those are the lace-ups and you get a grand style with the, you know, with the, with the bumps just like this. I don't know if you can see it, where you got a little lumps on them. And some of them might do a little styling like this. This one has it, there you go. But this is a bad glove. But most of the weight is actually at the top of this glove as well. So what manufacturer do is that they put most of the weight here and they tightly stuff the glove or they tightly um, 
pack the stuff, the, the padding inside of the glove, which makes your hands feel as if it's in a cast. Now, what the weight does on the, when you have this weight on the, you know, on the top of the gloves is actually, it helps your hands to, to go forward. So when you throw in a punch because of that additional weight, once you start flicking out the punch, it's hard to pull it back. And this is why it's used for the bag and it helps you to get your shots off a little bit more, you know, when you're tired because, you know, when you work in the bag, you're working the bag for cardio and actually precision. So it kind of helps in a, in, a, in a certain way that, you know, help you to build and push yourself a little bit more when you're doing a little extra work on the bag. So generally, also when you're purchasing a, purchasing a top heavy gloves, always make sure that the back of the gloves comes all the way down below your wrist. This will help you out a lot and it will create uh, comfort when you're actually hitting the heavy bag. So when you throw the shots and the shots connect to the, 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 the bag, it doesn't bend your hands because that long back of the gloves help to keep your hands straight. And when I'm using these gloves, I don't have that problem just because of how long the back of these gloves are. So my the the, pe the, the back of the gloves is actually sitting below my wrist. My wrist is right here. And as you can see, let me just mark it around so you can see. So my wrist is right here. And I'm gonna just go around and go around from here. And you can see it's right sitting right below, um, below my wrist, which makes my wrist when I'm trying to move my hand around in there, it's kind of hard to do it. And I'll show you what I mean with a gloves that don't provide this comfort. Here's a different gloves right here. And this one, the pattern is actually the, the back of the gloves is actually sitting on top of my wrist. So right here, I'm just gonna do the turn test. I'll turn from this angle, and you can see. It's not, it's not the wiggle room, take it up. Wiggle room in these gloves is like all over the place. And just because my wrist, there's nothing there to support my wrist when I'm gonna place in the shot so my hand is bending all over and that's not good. So make sure when you're buying a bag glove, the back of the glove is actually longer. Now let's move on to a sparring gloves. And a sparring gloves, this is so different because usually sparring gloves, they have a very, very soft pattern which, which have a lot of cushion. And what they do, they offer a very, very long, a very, very long like um, hand compartment for your hands and they have for the cushion on you know on the on the on the pad on the on the wrist of the glove so they make sure they offer this extra cushion to to help you know the fighter out especially if you're taking shots when you're sparring you need to put up your hands and block a couple shots they make sure they offer this cushion so if you know you don't get you know they, you don't get your hands beaten up when you're sparring because you know a lot of guys will punch you on your hands and when they punch you on your hands it help for you to drop your hands you know start getting a lot of hits on your hands just you start to drop them because those hits start to hurt so they offer that extra uh, support extra wrist support and the extra cushion and the extra padding to help you out um, help you out in situations like that another thing about like um, um, sparring gloves that is really, really, you should always make sure you look out for is where it's where the thumb attachment is. You, you actually purchasing a, a sparring glove, and I'll show you right now. Make sure the thumb is actually somewhere right here. So it's almost like your thumb is being hidden and it's not way out here. Now, difference, I'll show you the difference again between the sparring and a true bag gloves. Now, look at the bag gloves. Let's see if I can put my hands in here. Now, when I fold my fist in these, look how my thumb is sticking out. That's not a sparring glove. This is actually a bag glove. And this is how you know this is a true bag glove because like if you're punching, you know, you're trying to punch somebody, by the way the thumb is sticking out, you're going to, you, that sparring partner is probably going to get an eye poke. So make sure you you know you look out for these stuff when you 
trying to purchase the right glove. Now here is another glove on the roster. This is a Mexican style glove. This is from Boxio. And Mexican style, they usually have very thick padding. So most of these gloves are not generally sparring gloves just because of the thick padding. And you could actually see how tight and densely, uh, tight and tightly packed they, these padding are. They make sure they, you know, they stuff these padding in there really tightly and make sure they wrap the leather on the, the padding a lot tighter than how they would do it with a, a sparring glove. And I know these are two different companies, but generally this is what you're gonna see between a sparring gloves and a, a, a bag glove is that the way they wrap the leather around the, the bag gloves, they wrap it in such a way where no air can get, get inside these gloves. So it's, you know, inside the padding. So the padding always have this firm and thick I don't know, just, just this firmness to it when you, you versus a, a sparring glove where it's so movable and you know there's a lot of ways where ear is going inside of it, it helps to soften up the, the padding a lot. When you're dealing with a bag gloves, they make sure they tightly stuff these gloves. Another thing about Mexican gloves is that notice how the, the punching area of these gloves is different is that the punching areas of this glove is uh, very, very narrow. So if you're a Manny Pacquiao style puncher and you like your punches, to throw your punches this way, this is a good glove for you. I know a lot of people out there will say, well, no, I don't think that's the right way how to throw it. Trust me, this is a very effective way how to punch. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, fighters out there punch like that and it's actually a good way how to punch, especially um, if you're quick, if you got quick hands, because your eyes cannot measure things coming forward. And you, as you can see, that's, that's so quick, it's hard to measure. But from here, if I'm going from the side and I pull back like this, you can see that punch coming from a mile away. But if I go straight, it's hard to see, it's, it's, it's a lot quicker. So the narrow face helped to throw the punch just like this and it helped to get your shots off a little bit more. However, this is still uh, a bag gloves. Maybe if you soften them up a bit, they can be a sparring glove, but these are actually bag gloves, in my opinion. Can be used for sparring later on, but you have to soften them up. And then, last but not least, we have the One Punch. Uh, the manufacturer is in Philadelphia. Great, great boxing gloves. Um, designed for the heavy bag. Um, can be used for sparring later on, but you have to soften them up. Um, for right now, I want to spar in them just based on how they actually, you know, based on how the thick the pattern is and how heavy these gloves are. These are actually 18 ounces. And I'll show you the difference also between a sparring gloves. Again, a little bit more. But these are actually 18 ounces. And as you can see here, the infinity would seem a bit longer than the the one punch and the reason for that is the infinity gloves is 14 ounces and this is 18 ounces but the infinity glove is a true sparring glove because it gives you a lot more wrist support and the weight is evenly distributed which means the manufacturer took the time out to lengthen the wrist the risk of the glove and make a longer wrist so you could have more protection for your for your hands when you're sparring with this glove is the wrists on these gloves are a lot shorter. Let's do it by the wrist and you can actually see here. The wrists on these gloves are a lot shorter than the Infinity, in my opinion. Especially this glove is an 18 ounce glove and you have the one punch to 18 and you have the Infinity which is a 14 and it still managed to keep up with the length of an 18 ounce glove. So that kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Now, I hope this video was able to help you guys out and I hope you have a better understanding what you should look out for when you're purchasing the gloves and how you should go about and um, you know buy your gloves you know this is just my disclaimer I hope I, I hope it, it, it was helpful in some way shape or form and thanks for you know sticking out with the channel thanks for keeping up with the channel thanks for subscri subscribing leave your comment in the comment box and any ideas you have and anything you any any information you'd like to know just hit me up and i'll try my best to put out some videos until next time peace out guys